Hello, and thank you for joining us for another edition of the Oregon Coast Digest. We're coming at you from Bandon, Oregon, beautiful Bandon by the sea. We have a special treat in store for you guys today. We're going to go take a tour of the Wash to Shore project exhibit and see a little bit of what they do. So come on, let's go. First um, exhibit, this first sculpture is called the Gyre. This is a walkthrough gyre inspired by the uh, gentleman who discovered the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. His name is Captain Charles Moore. The gyre is a naturally occurring um, movement of water that happens in every ocean because all rivers lead to the ocean. And so it creates a, a kind of a current, a whirlpool. And so in a healthy ocean, the things that caught, get caught in your whirlpool are uh, driftwood, seaweed, biodegradable mm -hmm. objects. Um, because 60 million tons of debris are entering our oceans every year through rivers, um, and most of that being plastic, that's what's now getting caught in the gyres. We have created this material that is so versatile that all the things that were normally stored in wood or metal, well, they could be waterproofed in plastic. It's a great material. Mm -hmm. However, we did create this material that lasts forever. Right. And that's great, and that's the problem. They estimate that about 90% of the debris that enters the water is plastic. The message is that it's harmful. Our debris, our trash, is harmful to the sea life. And it's harmful in three main ways, many ways, but three main ways is uh, through ingestion, through entanglement, and through habitat. So they're eating it, they're confusing it for food, it's getting trapped in their systems, or they're getting caught in it, um, or they're thinking it's a great place to live. And the gyre happens to be the great example of all three of those. This surface area of this piece of plastic is are all the areas where this piece of plastic is absorbing and letting off gases and absorbing toxins. When it becomes brittle, we just increase the toxicity of that piece of plastic because we increase the surface area. One square cube of plastic, solid cube, has the potential to pollute 12 acres of water. Square. We don't have to dye or bleach any of our plastics to make them the right color because plastic comes in every color. All of our sculptures are meant to be touched, they're interactive. When you have a bunch of kids, they just dig it, they come yeah, in their balls. community workshops where you get to help build the sculptures. Um, any age, skill, or ability can come because we are a nonprofit. So um, we rely completely on volunteer help and uh, donations and sponsors. SeaWorld has commissioned uh, 12 sculptures to be on display uh, starting in 2014 for 18 months and they will be four in every single U.S. park, so Orlando, and San Antonio, Texas, and four in San Diego. And when they are done there, they're gifting them back to us so we can continue to travel with those um, pieces and, and spread the message. But while they're there, they'll reach 15 million people. If anybody wants to donate, you're interested in learning more about us, please go to www.washedashore.org. About us, you can like us on Facebook and follow our uh, exhibit where it's going to be next. It's going to be in your neighborhood. If you'd like to find out more about how to turn pieces of plastic trash from Washington Shore into beautiful educational pieces of art, visit the Washington Shore Project in Bandon or go to their website at washingtonshore.org. 
Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Oregon Coast Digest. Make sure to check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google+, and of course, OregonCoastDigest.com. We'll see you next time.